Hello there, welcome back to another All The Mods 9 video with me, the Space Squirrel. Today we've got some really fun stuff planned. So in the end of the last video, I mentioned that we were gonna be trying to go and get all the modium today. And um, just kind of one of the prerequisites to that is doing some stuff with Create. Um, and it's not, it's not really necessary that you do the stuff with Create. I just think that it's super duper helpful. So I'm gonna kind of jump into the Create stuff first. And then we'll go off on our little exploration and try and find some all the modium. Then we'll come back and try and make like uh, some all the modium tools and armor if we can. So first things first, one of the main components of Create is uh, andesite alloys, which you make just with some nuggets and uh, some andesite. So we're gonna just get 18 of those guys to start out. We can make more if we need to, but I think starting with 18 is probably a good bet. Um, then we're going to go through, and the best way to kind of make the andesite casings, in my experience, is to just go through, make a bunch of, let's take these out, <laughs> uh, strip a bunch of logs, and then you just walk through with your andesite alloys and right click to make the casings. So that's that. Then let's pick up these guys. Let's see what's going to be next. Oh, also, you're probably wondering how I got all of this stuff. I, uh, I, uh, went to the village and kind of stole some of their stuff but we'll, we'll go back over there and we'll fix it up and we'll make our relations with them good again once more um so we've got some of our andesite casings right now and the first thing that we want to do with create is to make some power gen so i really like doing water wheels um and they're they're very straightforward so you, you literally just make shafts surrounded by planks um, shafts you get by doing this, so we'll do that. Uh, it's just two andesite alloys right on top of each other. And then for the water wheel, we're gonna need some planks around an andesite shaft. So let's see if I have any planks. Not. So we'll make some. Yeah, screw it. Let's just do all of it. And luckily, we can do handy dandy backpack. I turn off that. Let's see how many. Oh, we're perfectly gonna be able to. I think eight might be a little overkill for what we're going for, so I'm just gonna make four. And then we'll have some extra shafts to use, and we'll also have some spruce planks that we can use later on as well. So, next, we're gonna need some of that good H2O to be able to start our water wheels. And I've put some thought into where I want this to go, and I think it would look kind of cool if we just did a little setup like. Right, well, now we're probably not gonna wanna do it out front of our house. Oh, there goes all that thought right out the drain. <laughs> um, let's do it over here. What we're gonna do next is take our water wheel. And I'm gonna throw this guy down probably right, oh no, not right there. Right here, oh my goodness. Right here, <laughs> there we go. So put down all of those guys. Bing, bada boom. And I'm fairly certain these should all be able to rotate even with this block right here, but I'm not entirely positive, so let's, I mean, one way to find out, right? Let's go in here, let's break this, and now let's put down our dirt again so we get a little overhang. Like that, and like that. And if I'm not mistaken, Yes, there we go. Wonderful. I thought I had an infinite water source around here somewhere. Oh, it's way over here. We're gonna have to make another infinite water source. I think in my backpack I have a couple buckets. So I should probably just fill all of those up. All right, let's go back over here, finish topping off the create power, and then we'll kind of try and make the machines that we're gonna need for the next part of our journey. So this is what I want it to look like when we're, we're doing our power gen. Really sleek, really clean. And I think for the create area, we should probably pull it out in this direction because we're gonna be doing some mechanism stuff in this area over here. So we'll pop down just a shaft right there. And then next, after we make the water wheel, we're going to want two different machines to be able to make the materials um, that we want 
for our all the modium tools and i'll kind of i'll show you guys what those look like right now super quick so you can kind of maximize uh the amount of all the modium that you get out of your all the modium pretty much what i'm going for is the all the modium pickaxe and i mean if we're able to do more that's awesome but i really just want to get the pickaxe so the recipe for that is three rods and two plates which means we're going to need a mechanical press to make the aldamodium plates and then a rolling mill to be able to make the aldamodium rods. So for the aldamodium plates we're going to need four aldamodium ingots and if you look here the crafting recipe four ingots into one plate or if we make a mechanical press with create we can turn one ingot into one plate so that's just way more efficient we get more bang for our buck that way. And then with the aldamodium rods, you can see crafting, it's three ingots into one rod, which is insane in my opinion. Or you can get a rolling mill and you can turn one ingot into two rods. So that's just, it's way more like, oh man, bang for your buck, for lack of a better term. But it's just a lot better to do it that way. So we're going to set up our create machine so we're able to uh, create the all the modium tools um, and it's going to be difficult to get these all the modium ingots from the deep dark i did it in a like a solo world and it was way more difficult than i could have expected like the all the modium is in the walls behind the i think it's skulk is what's down there and that just makes it a nightmare honestly but it is what it is so next i'm gonna want to make our mechanical press. We're gonna need some iron, uh, a shaft, and I think it was a casing. So we can just go in right here. Let's take some more of that. Real quick, we're gonna make ourselves iron block. I guess we can just do it right here. Then we've got our mechanical press, which is wonderful. We're also gonna want a depot, which is an andesite casing and an andesite alloy. This is where you put your ingots to be pressed into plates, excuse me. And then next, we're gonna want a rolling mill, which we're gonna need some iron plates for, but since we have the mechanical press, we don't really need to worry about that. And I'm also going to make, just really quick, some cog wheels, which I should probably make a couple of those. I think, oh, oh, that's all. That's all that we have, which might actually be perfect. Let's see really quickly so we can take this guy and we'll pop this down oh wait you know what we can actually just use this shaft uh oh blood moon that's gonna be super duper fun so i think little into big makes it go actually i don't even want to do anything else so let's take our mechanical press pop it right there and now this guy should be ready to press stuff I think we're gonna want to take this down just one more level and we can make it look a little bit better after the fact um, so we're gonna take this down a level and then we're gonna want to pop down our depot directly underneath the mechanical press right there and bada bing bada boom we should be able to make two iron plates just by going like this oh, I guess we're gonna do the whole thing so now it'll pop down boom bonk sorry excuse me it should have been bonk so it gives you a nice little tool tip on top too Ooh, that was some nice alliteration where you can see how many plates and how many ingots are on there just so you can kind of check the progress and we only wanted two so we're going to do that we've got our two plates now let's go inside and make ourselves our rolling mill oh we're actually going to need some andesite alloy which we need some ingots for Let's do this, make some more alloys, now we're going to need some shafts, then we should be able to make the rolling mill. Wonderful. But no thanks, no thanks. Those little mosquitoes are very annoying. Oh, we should probably pop down some torches over here, I bet it's kind of dark. Oh, that was my mistake, I apologize. Hopefully I can light that up after the fact and you guys will be able to see. So. Now, we'll be able to do a little something like this. Oh my goodness, zombies, please. 
I'm trying to do something right now. Man, they get they get stronger during the blood moon or something. That's awkward. So we should be able to take this. I think I might want to make another cogwheel, which I believe it. I don't think it'll speed it up a whole lot, but it might. Um, then we'll just take this guy. Oh no! Here, let's make one more small cogwheel. Throw it right here, and then we should be able to just throw our mechanical press right there. And then we just pop a whatever material it is that we want to make the rod. I think you just throw it right on top of it, and that's that. So we have our two machines that we're gonna want to make our Aldemodium tools. Now, let's go get some of that Aldemodium. And I think, real quick, let's check off some quests because that always feels good and is fun. Let's see, I've got easy villagers. Ooh, cooked pork chop, yummy, yummy. Pork chop salad. I don't think you can sleep away um, the blood moon either. Let me check really quick. May not rest because the current lunar event prevents it. So we just have to suck it up and tough it out. Um, let's see what else we can check off really quick. It's clipping time. Got some shears. Got some wool. Fun stuff. Tastes good. Feel good. All right. Now I'm gonna start exploring and moving towards where our uh, deep dark biome should be according to the nature's compass and that was helping me quite a bit to find where did I put that to find our deep dark biome so some people don't like using this I think it's it's in the game so may as well use it so the deep dark coordinates are going to be 1358 negative 572 so we're going to want to go in this direction and um, I'll touch back with you guys once we've either made it to the deep dark or if anything happens in the meantime. So, be back here in a second. All right, everyone, I found the deep dark. We made it. I wanted to check that this cave went down like into something that extended further, and it does. So real quick, since I don't have any torches, we're gonna use our backpack special ability. Since it's a bat pack, we can get night vision. And this should be where the deep dark is, I thought. Oh, I think the mantle cave gen actually over, like overrid, overrode, overrided. I don't know what the word would be. Overwrote the deep dark region down here, which is kind of a bummer, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick second, see if I can't find another deep dark, and then we'll touch back. Okay, so I, I happened upon. Oh. Cool, there's a little dungeon right there. I happened upon a village um, just back here and it actually had a waystone. So we'll be able to teleport back into this region. And also if we go to there, we'll also be able to teleport back home, which is kind of cool. Um, and then I redid the deep dark search and this is what it came up with. So it's a, it's a different deep dark and I'm gonna go and see if hopefully this one actually is legit and isn't just going to make me sad again. Ooh, ooh, a boat? Sorry, gotta get distracted by the bow at. I'm also, I also need to make a new pickaxe to mine down. Oh, hello there. Is there a spawner in here? No? Thanks for the free stuff, bro. Is there any other free stuff? This place is confusing looking. There's not a whole lot of you here either, is there? Wonder. Ooh. That's. Eh. Eh. If it was like cooked, maybe. Thought it would be nice loot. Oh, wait. Hello? Oh, I can't just. Here, be free, my friend. Oh! Nope. That's mine. Sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Very cool, very modern. Let's pop some stuff we don't need in here. Take ender pearls. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got a bit of a cold right now. It's making me sound a little hoarse. Huh. <laughs> so then, 
I don't think I need anything else from that. Anything in here? Ooh, I want all of that. All right, let's put some stuff in our backpack. I think if we do mining, mining stuff in here, that would free up enough space. I shouldn't say mining stuff, just from the ground resources. And we can do that. I wanna take every single one of those. Scaffolding probably would be helpful, but eh. Eh. Oh, another chest. Okay. Hmm, we get mob heads with that. That's kinda cool. And I guess we'll take compressed iron. Uh, that's a lot of experience stored in there. I want that. And then it's probably a good idea to just take a little bit more armor. Let's see if there's anything good in here. That. Um, yes, please. I'll put that on in a second. Tablet of cloud shaping. Ah, neat. Hmm. I don't think I need anything else. Yeah, nah. It all looks good. Cool. Thank you for the, the loot. Uh, pillager outpost thingy majigger. Our quest continues. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over to this deep dark biome and I'll touch back with you guys and hopefully this one actually is a deep dark biome and not like a weird misrendered chunk or something. So, touch back with you guys here in just a second. Okie dokie. We, did, we found where it is supposedly, so I'm gonna, oh, that's so pretty. Just a little bird singing. So I'm gonna go underground, uh, hopefully find a cave entrance around here somewhere. Um, and then we'll kind of see if we can find a complete deep dark biome. And hopefully we'll be able to find some Aldemodium too. So be right back yet again. We have our second deep dark option um, not working out. Okay, so I finally have located a deep dark biome. Let's go down a little bit, a wee bit. There's also some spawners in here that I think I want to try and get some loot from at a later time. Uh, but this is the main goal at hand, so we're going to focus on that for the time being. Um, it's a pretty cool area, to be honest. Oh man, there's just so much stuff here. And I have somehow gotten myself lost. Is it this way? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I went this way. And then we find this cool like mine shaft that isn't actually a mine shaft. Looks like one of the like nether fortresses, but oh, still an arcana. <laughs> then look, look at it. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. <laughs> creeper got creeper. Bro, please get out of here. Maybe, maybe I do need to break the spawners around the, these parts real quick. So break that. My god, everybody is fighting. Oh no. What in the heck is going on here? Okay, we got rid of her. Kill that. The spiders seem like they're pretty easy, I guess. Easy enough. Oh my god. Frickin' heck, dude. Okay. Now we just need to defeat this onslaught of mobsters. Eating some bread first, though. Is that... Excuse you? Is there another freaking spawner around these parts somewhere? Yes, okay. Okay, so now we should just have to beat the rest of these guys up. Okay, let's look in here. Any boots? Hello? I don't want really any of this stuff that is in here. I will take that. Let's take gloves, diamond armor, XP boost, iron. I don't want any of that stuff. Take the iron block. Probably want to take an anvil. Golden apples are good too. Okay. Now that that's done. Oh my god. That was insane. Maybe we go down here, try and hang out in the deep dark for a second. Is that... You're... No. No. 
No, I refuse. This cannot be it. Okay, we'll sneak around for a minute. You're joking. Wait just a darn minute. Wait just a darn minute. I completely forgot about this cool little thingamajigger that we could do. Let's see here. So it is tele, tele, yes, yes. This is what we want. Teleport pad, no. Lucky for you, I'm invincible. All right, let's get out of here, go home. There's gotta be a waystone in here somewhere, right? I like the way that material looks. Looks way stony. Victor, I don't have no boots, bro. You can't be doing this. Not fair. Not fair. I am so far from home, Victor. Oh boy. How are we gonna get Victor? Okay, I bet you Victor doesn't know how to climb vines. He almost killed me. I got down to like two hearts. Um, but luckily I escaped. So I'm gonna see what kind of stuff he's got. It's honestly not too chabby. Get resistance from it. We definitely need some armor though. All right, so we need helmet. And I think we need boots too. Why don't we just make some friggin' diamond boots? Just so we can. And so we have a little bit of protection on our feetsy doodles. Because I'm not trying to get ripperonied. Okay, so we're going to actually need to, um, where am I? Get some Aldemodium before we're able to make those mining dimension portals. So I'm gonna keep looking around here. Let's actually check in these chests and see if they have any boots or anything. Lag, okay. Take that, take that. I don't think I need you. Excuse me, sir. Goodbye, sir. Uh, always take more bat packs. Frozen range, eh. Don't give a hoot and holler about that. I don't know how we haven't found any Aldemodium yet. We're still in the deep dark biome though. I am bewildered. Okay, I'm gonna dig around for a little bit and I'll touch back with you guys once I've found... Awesome. I'll touch back with you guys once I've found some Aldemodium so we're not just wasting time having you watch me punch walls. Um, so I'll be back in just a second. I am convinced that I am never going to find Aldemodium now. I have been in here for like an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Oh my gosh, I don't even have food. I'm gonna have to eat a golden apple. I forgot how I even got in here. But yeah, I've like, look at all this loot. Look, like we got a, almost a stack and a half of diamonds. We have all this iron, silk touch, protection, what, two? Looting three book. But I have yet to find a single piece of Aldemodium. I did get a little bobble like trinket thing that's kind of cool. Look, I am like, just littered with arrows. <laughs> um, I did get kind of a cool bobble though. Cloud in a bottle, which allows me to double jump, which I think is kind of nice. I got some cool like pants. Probably put on these diamond ones. Um, but I have yet to find any Aldemodium still. We just go home and try and find another deep dark biome. Okay, we made it to the jungle village. This is what I was talking about. It's like a Rainforest Village, excuse me. I saw that chest in there, but I'm gonna go home now. We're gonna get some food, clear out the inventory, and then I'm gonna see if I can find a different deep dark biome to be able to freaking get some all the modium in. So I'll touch back with you guys in a second. Alrighty, inventory is sorted. I have another stack of food. We're in the middle of like a, a very busy populated area. Oh, what's up, dude? I'm not gonna mess with you. Um, so I'm gonna head over in this direction. Who keeps blowing that horn? What is that? I'm gonna head over in this direction and going to see if there's a deep dark, maybe like over here that's a little bit more complete. Fingers crossed that it is. Oh nice, we have another waystone. I might actually take this waystone. Hello. I, I redid the compass again and now I found a deep dark area over in this direction. Really, 
really hoping that this is going to be the right one and I'll actually be able to find some all the modium here um, so we'll touch back just want to let you guys know I dug down into uh, the area that the deep dark is supposed to be at so it's negative 1775 1850 we're pretty much there right now um, so I'm just gonna look around and see if I can find anything good hello okay please Please, please, please have all the modium in this little area. I'm definitely going to break that. No cave spiders. Ooh, that's nice. Flawed lunar gem. I don't need any of that. Um, oh, I will take that. That is some good stuff. And then, yeah, this is kind of, I just got like some ingots and some apples and stuff. But other than that, nothing really good. Okay, fingers crossed it didn't have a weird glitchy spawn that is gonna make it so there's not actually all the modium here. It's because I'm using the compass. The game doesn't want me to succeed now. It's like, oh, you're, you're being a little cheap, dude. What? There's seriously no, none all the modium. <gasps> this is where I wanna be. Okay, all right. So let's, okay, there's gotta be a way to get over there. You know what the way is? I'm going to literally go back to my entrance to this cave and I'm going to strip mine over there. Oh. My. God. We found it. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. There's about a hundred baby spiders down there. Yeah, the warden's about to say, what's up, little squirrel? Frick off. The warden's here, bro. Uh. Don't mind me. I'm just looking for some old modium. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? Um. Okay. So, we're gonna leave here for a little bit, uh, go and get our <laughs> teleportation device, and then we'll be back. Having some technical difficulties facing off with the warden, he seems to uh, not like me, which makes sense, um, but I actually can't get back to my portal because I may or may not have tried to start a fight with him. So I have to go get some food really quick so I can heal up. And then once I've healed up, I'm thinking I should be able to go home, get like a god apple or something that we have, and it'll be all good to go. So yeah, that's the little update about where we are right now. Um, I'll touch back with you guys when I'm about to start my second leg of battle with the warden after I've gone home and gotten my god apples. Alright, it's going down. Let's do this thing. Okay, back to the deep dark. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Please, I just need, I need to get back to my tunnel before he shoots me at least once. Don't hit me. Okay, was it right here? Yes, okay, it's here. Now we're gonna eat a regular golden apple right now. Get that resistance. And I have a special axe that is going to make it so I can kick his butt. Alright, come here. Yeah, that's not going to work now, buddy. Oh my god. God apple. Come 
Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay, he's down. He's down. Let's see another golden apple. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, are we gonna beat the freaking warden? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I am talking about. All right. Now we should be able to walk around without him pestering us anymore. That was super irritating. If I somehow manage to set off another one of these and the warden comes back, I am not going to be a happy camper with myself. No. Are you... Frick this. I'm out of here. And the warden respawned. So... That's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> For some reason, you guys are still alive in the daytime. And now I'm on fire. Oh my gosh. What a promising start to the episode. Just followed by, like, like, we got... Like there, okay, we're going to have to look around for one of the, all the, like, uh, what is it, a potion or a scroll of all the modium site. So I say we just, we kind of run around and try and loot these various places by our base and see if we, see if we can get lucky. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna mess up these pillager, yeah, don't even try with me, bud. Vindicator, Vindicator who? Take emeralds, uh, don't need any of this stuff. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Keep going up. What's up, you little boys? Okay. Um, anything good in here? Ooh, we will take that. I guess it's probably a good idea to have some of that. We have so much wheat at home, but you know what? I'll take a little bit more. I don't think you can. What? Who are you? You're gonna be dead soon as who you are. Or am I gonna be dead soon? Yes! 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 Feels good after not being able to do anything to be able to actually win something. Whoa. That's pretty groovy. Cool beans, okay. Let's see, do you have anything worthwhile in these chests? Absolutely nothing, well, I guess absolutely nothing is not fair, but not a whole lot. Okay, so that's that's what's in those towers for those of you that were curious. Um, okay, I guess let's, we can check these crates and see if there's anything in there. Hello, Vilhag. Would you guys like to be freed? Can I? Eh. Nah, you guys are hanging out. You're chilling. I'll let you chill. Oh, no, it's you. Hey, bud. What are you doing? Wait, oh, there's watchtowers, huh? Hey. Huh. I guess we could take some arrows. Whoa. That's pretty. Get out of here. Nope. You mean little jerk. I don't want that gem. All I want is a scroll of all the modium site. Oh. Frustration. Whatever. Let's get out of here. And I saw... Okay, so we can go to this tower next. Which I think is just gonna be like another... Yeah, it's another pillager. Thing. Hopefully, maybe you guys will have something worthwhile. Probably won't, but it's worth it to check, I think. Hello? Anybody home? Brian. Ow. Oh, oh. Ah, nothing. 
nothing. I, it's got to be such a low, low spawn chance. I will take that. Uh, scroll of mercy. Meh. Can't get out of here now. Okay. That's a fun little tower boy to check off our list. Okay, so I think what we're gonna have to do then is go back into caves and I'm gonna have to just look around. There was a piece of Aldemodium right here. I mined it. I thought that I hit record and I didn't. Oh, 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 that's sad. Um, okay, ignoring that, we can we can break down this Aldemodium ore into Aldemodium dust. Smelt this dust into one ingot and then we can use that ingot to make ourselves some nuggets, which we can then use to make the teleport pad. And we're gonna use the teleport pad to just get a bunch more Aldemodium in a way lower stakes environment. Um, yes, oh, finally, we've finally done it. We've done it. Freaking phenomenal. Excellent. Okay, sorry for a bit of technical difficulties right there. We're gonna do it. We have the Aldemodium dust. Now let's throw that into... I wanna make sure that I get the most out of this. So I don't think we're able to, able to smelt it into multiple ingots in any special way. So we may as well just throw them into the Energized Smelter. Or the Iron Furnace, excuse me. Just like that, we've done it. We have all the modium ingots, y'all. Let's see if we get, I don't know if you get an achievement for that or if you get the achievement for like making gear out of it. Oh no, you do get it. All right, so let's see. <laughs> yummy, yummy fruit salad. And I did kill the warden, so we get the <laughs> kill the warden sensor. Uh, all right, let's see if we get anything good from this. Productivity alpha, I have no idea what that's for. Production output of bees in hive by 120%. Sheesh, that's pretty sweet. So now what I wanna do is take this guy, break it down into nuggets, and we can make some pretty neato stuff out of these nuggets. So I think the first thing that we're going to want to do is make a teleport pad. And the teleport pad is, wait, shoot, I need to see what I, what the recipe is. So the teleport pad is just an ender pearl. So we'll go boop. Let's throw some stuff in there that we don't really need. Okay, and then in here we can throw that, put that, and put this into this in there. Put these guys back into here. I got a cool bow from a skeleton while I was looking, withering. Oh, and then I did get an enchanted scroll of redstone site. So it's not exactly what we wanted, but it's better than nothing. Um, then to the teleport pad. Boop, 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 boop. With this guy in the middle. Bang. And let's go and put this by our other portal. Right there. And we should just have to right click. Now ah, we're in the mining dimension. That's where we really want to be. Think. So it said it's more common in the deep slate layer, which means we're gonna want to mine down like that. I think we wanna we wanna do more than three. We wanna do a four, like a four wide path. Two, three. And I wanna mine that. And we should just have to go like all the way down, and we should have a pretty easy time finding all the modium once we get to the deep slate layer, which is. A significant way down um so i'll touch back with you guys once i once i make it down there because this is not going to be super enjoyable uh to watch just for now but once i'm there i'll tell you guys so be right back all right so we're down in the deep slate layer which starts at y127 which is pretty freaking crazy um so let's check off this one real quick flat world with several layers you can mine all the uh all kinds of ores, including overworld, nether, and end ores. Uh, don't find vibranium or unobtainium. All the modium is more common in the deep slate layer. So I think what I'm gonna do is just get down like right here, so we're surrounded by um, deep slate, and I'm just gonna make some mining tunnels. Or, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do that. We'll do this. 
what this is. Oh, bent one night. And then, oh, 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 there's lots of diamonds here too. That's not too bad. Let's see, we've got 23 diamonds, what? All right, this is gonna be pretty fun. And I guess we just kind of should keep going until we find some Aldemodium, right? Just so y'all can see, this is the Aldemodium. Oh, we get multiple from this one too. Very nice. I'm just gonna check, yep. That's why you mine around, y'all. Just to make sure, and I've, I'm coming to learn that I think this stuff is like really plentiful. So I've, <laughs> you can see I've been mining for a little bit. Um, so this backpack, I'm just putting like buildable resources in. You do that. And then this is all of the like mining resources I've gotten so far. There's no issue finding diamonds whatsoever. They are everywhere in this dimension. Um, what I'm doing is just like a cat, like a straightforward strip mine, except I can do it with my hand because I've got the handy dandy, whatever, what is it called? The digging claws, such a good curio. Like, I think that's definitely one of the better curios that you can get in this mod pack. So if you're if you're playing it, um, you should, if you're playing all the mods nine, you should definitely try and look for this curio. I think because it makes it a lot easier for you to use feed the beast all to mine. It's kind of cheatsky doodles, honestly, but you know it's in the pack, so I'm going to use it. We're trying to get as overpowered as we can be, y'all. And then, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going. I think I only need, like, I mean, how many do I need? Let's, let's see really quick. I might be able to just make the pickaxe right now. So, plates, we're gonna need two plates, which is one ingot. And then for the rods, we're gonna need three rods, which is going to be three ingots. We can do that right now. Let's go home. I'll meet you guys back at the base. We've got our Aldemodium ingots. It's nighttime. I'm not wanting any monsters to jump up on us while we're trying to craft our Aldemodium tools. How big of a bummer would it be if a, a zombie just jumped up and was like, I'll take that. And then it despawned. So we're going to need two plates, which, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, yep, there we go. So we're going to do two of you guys there. You got this. Come on, create. Bonk. Oh man, it's going way slower now that it <laughs> now that we have multiple machines going at once. And bonk. Okay, perfect. So now we should be able to take all of that. And we're gonna take this. We'll throw that in there. It should make us three rods. Or two rods, excuse me. Let me just right click that, and we're gonna need one more, so we'll throw that in there, and boom. All right, this is the moment that I've at least been waiting for for quite a long time. Let's craft ourselves the one, the only, all the modium pickaxe. Indestructible, folks. 14 attack damage, so we can use it in place of our swords. Um, it's got like the mining power of a netherite pickaxe a little bit higher actually um, Yeah, this is this is an endgame tool right here, so I Think once we get like efficiency 5 and fortune onto it. It's gonna be a pretty pretty sweet uh, book to have so uh, Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this you guys Holy crap, we need it. We need to do a thumbnail. Let's do a thumbnail before we log off for the day. I wonder... <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is very good. So let's actually, let's go back a little bit. Do it. Do it. Do it. I think a cool thumbnail would be us standing by our create machines, right? Maybe just down in... Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, down right in here. Then let's, let's do F1. Let's make our FOV go in a lot. I think that 
looks pretty good. And then we can just stand right here with our Altimodium pickaxe. And that's it, y'all. Take some screenshots. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the episode here. So we we reached our goal of getting the Altimodium pickaxe. Um, I'm just I'm really happy right now. I'm just so so excited for what we're gonna be able to do with this guy going forward. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the support you, that you've been showing for the videos over the past couple weeks, um, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying them. Um, and leave a comment down below what you thought of this episode. <laughs> uh, if you thought I was going to die to the warden or not, I don't know. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.